you don't think it's too short? No! You look adorable! <laughs> Makes you look younger and thinner and taller and smarter and faster and better. <laughs> Thank you! So what's with the big change? Oh, I did it for Rodney. We were watching this Reese Witherspoon movie last week and he said he thought my hair would look cute that way. Rodney said that? Yeah. After I asked him if he thought my hair would look cute that way. <laughs> Hi! Hey! Rodney! What? What the hell did you do to your hair? Oh my god, you hate it! No, you, you didn't let me finish. I was gonna say, what the hell did you do to your hair? I love it. You don't think it's too short? No. Let's not go back. Hi, everybody. Hey, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Wow, Trina, I like your new look. Thank you, Daddy. I'm glad somebody likes it. Honey, I said I like it. I just hope the boys don't get us confused. <laughs> so how's everybody doing on this beautiful day? Well, you're in a good mood today, Daddy. Well, what's there not to be in a good mood about? You're broke, lost your house to the IRS, your car lot might be going under. Hell, just the fact that I can make a list kind of sucks. <laughs> well, other than all that, it's still a beautiful day. What is going on with you? Oh, nothing much. Is that a hickey? <gasps> Daddy! <laughs> All right, don't twist my arm. I've got a lady friend. You sure that isn't another one of your curling iron accidents? <laughs> it's a hickey, and her name is Sandy. Gross. You named it? <laughs> anyway, she's really special. I knew from the very beginning that I, I could just tell her anything. I'm not calling her mom. By the way, if y'all are available Saturday night, I'd really like to bring her by. I, I want her to meet the family. And you know, once you guys approve, it's only a matter of time. I'm not calling her mom. I forgot you work Saturdays, don't you? Yeah. Hey, we'll miss you. All right, well, Saturday works for us, Daddy. All right, see you then. Okay, bye-bye. What do you think I should make them for dinner? I don't think it matters. If she's willing to put Carl's neck in her mouth, she'll eat anything. Hey, hon. Hey, boo. What you working on? Oh, it's a song for my act. You want to hear it? Sure. You're the keeper of my soul. You're the owner of my heart. I don't think a day will come we'll ever be apart And I will always love you like no other As long as you don't turn out like your mother <laughs> Honey Well I guess since you're leaving I'm not getting any this evening Hey, boys, what's going on? Jack's writing an email to his girlfriend. Shut up, I don't have a girlfriend. Hmm. Dad, can I have some privacy, please? You got a girlfriend? No. Then why are you tapping a love letter? Because, uh... Because... I love Darcy, okay? I love her. You love her, huh? can't live without her. Well, Jack, you're 12. You're sure not going to live with her. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else. You cannot send that email. Why not? Jack, early on in a courtship, you don't ever, ever tell a girl how you feel. How's she going to know I like her? You tell her by not telling her. You play it cool. For instance, if you see Darcy in the hallway, give her one of these. Hey. Hey. Not hey. <laughs> no, Jack, you, you mumble it. It's kind of like this. Just kind of cool. Just... Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> hey. That's pretty good. You practice a hundred of those in the mirror, 
You'll have it now. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Hair. <laughs> what was that about? Oh, well, Jack's gonna tell this girl he loved her in an email, and I told him to step back, play it cool. Oh, you mean cool like, what the hell did you do to your hair? <laughs> Honey, I'm trying to help Jack get a girl. I'll teach him about pissing his wife off later. Rodney, girls don't like guys who play it cool. We want to actually know how you feel about us. Playing it cool works. That's how I bagged you. I don't, I don't remember bagging. Oh, there was some bagging. No, begging. That is what I remember. <laughs> there wasn't that much begging. Oh, please. You were sending me flowers. You were making me mixtapes. Honey, that wasn't begging. That was wooing. <laughs> I had you from the minute you told me you were pregnant. Whatever you want to call it, where did it go? I mean, when is the last time you did something for me just because? Honey, we're 12 years into this thing. We don't have to do that stuff anymore. All right, well, I'm so glad I went through all the trouble of getting my hair cut for you. How is that for me? I got it cut for you just because you liked it on Reese Witherspoon. What? Remember we saw that movie last week and you said you thought my hair would look cute that way? No, oh, I, I said move your head out of the way. <laughs> you know what, Rodney? Just forget it, okay? If you're not going to care about stuff, then why should I? Honey, it'll grow back. <laughs> yeah, then she said I stopped doing the little romantic things. And then I don't care anymore. You know, Gina and I used to have those same fights. But after years of these romantic getaways and happy couple seminars, we finally just said enough. Now, I don't do anything for her, and she doesn't do anything for me, and we have never been more in love. Oh, man. Wish me and Trina had that. Yeah, well, loving by ignoring it and for everybody. Takes two people to make that work. <laughs> Dad, it worked. I played it cool with Darcy, just like you said, and she invited me to a party at her house. Of course she did. I don't want to brag or anything, Jack, but I know more about women than anybody else in the world. <laughs> so what's my next move? Well, you want to switch gears. You want to get into party mode. How's your dancing? Not so good. What are you doing right now? I got homework. Jack, you got a girl in play right now. Where are your priorities? <laughs> I'll do my homework later. That's my boy. All right. Lucky for you, me and Barry are a couple of dancing machines. Oh, yeah. need to learn that. <laughs> um, besides, I'm pretty good with the fast stuff. Uh, you want to get right to the good part. All right. Okay. Come here, Barry. First of all, Jack, you're going to need to know how to take a girl in your arms. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> now, shouldn't I be taking you into my arms? Why? Well, I mean, look at us. In this situation, you are obviously the girl. You're the girl, I'm the guy. Look, I didn't come over here to be the girl. You on your period? I've only been a woman for a few seconds. I already hate men. All right. Now, where you put your hands is really important because you don't want to be too high because then she'll think you're going for the bra. I don't need to worry about that. Well, flat girls are fun, too. Yeah, homework's not important. A lot of crazy lessons here today. <laughs> All right, now go turn on the boom box and, and turn it to number three. <laughs> now see, Jack, what we're doing here? Nothing fancy, just rocking side to side, nice and easy to the rhythm of the music. Yeah. Now at this point, she might want to put her head on your shoulder. She might want to put her head on your shoulder. No, oh, sorry. I was just staring at the quarterback, wondering how I got stuck with you. <laughs> I, 
Now, if this happens, Jack, this is a good sign. This means she's open to your next move. You might want to whisper something in her ear. You're a really good dancer. <laughs> you stop it. Hey, Bo, what's up, buddy? You wanted me to tell you when that basketball game was on. You still like basketball, right? <laughs> What's this? What's it look like? <laughs> Just because... R. <laughs> I'm R. <laughs> yeah, thanks for breaking the code. <laughs> All right, well, open up some wine. Natty and Sandy will be here any minute. <laughs> Rodney, this is the same mix you made for me 12 years ago when we first started dating. Now it's a CD. Thanks. Well, that's it. Well, what else do you want? Well, how about a little appreciation for me giving you what you want? What I want? I didn't ask for that. Well, yes, you did. No, I didn't. I reminded you of things you used to do for me just because. You used to be grateful when I gave you stuff. You know what? I am through jumping through hoops for you. You didn't jump through hoops. You jumped through one hoop 12 years ago, and then you copied it. Yeah, for your information, this CD has two bonus tracks on it that I'm sorry I even went through the trouble of putting on there. Are you talking about the CD I burned for you? Tr Trina, I, I put the label on it. No, you didn't. This is Sandy. Hi, this Sandy. is Trina, Trina my nice daughter. Nice Rodney, nice Rodney. 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 Nice to meet you. Uh, listen, Daddy, I know we didn't talk about it, but I hope you can stay for dinner. Well, unfortunately, we made other plans. I'm taking Sandy on a picnic under the stars. Oh, it was Carl's idea. He planned it all. He even made the food. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice when a guy does something for you just because? You know what's even nicer? Shutting it. Just because. <laughs> Maybe we should open this wine, Rodney. Would you like some wine, Sandy? I would love some. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like some wine, too. You sure? Because I brought you some wine 12 years ago and I wouldn't want it to seem like I was repeating myself. What in the Sam Hill is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Carl. You caught us at a bad time. Married. I have to tell you, Sandy, I haven't seen Daddy this happy in a long time. Mm -hmm. well, Carl is a wonderful man. Oh. <laughs> and you came along at just the right time, too, what he's been going through and all. I'm sorry, I don't follow. Oh, he didn't tell you about his car business? He told me he owns three lots, and he's thinking of buying another one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see you mm -hmm. <laughs> Daddy. You didn't tell Sandy you were broke? Well, hell no. Why would I do a stupid thing like that? You said that you could tell her anything? Well, I can, but that doesn't mean I'm going to. <laughs> Don't you know anything about love? She knows how to suck all the joy out of it. <laughs> Listen, I really care about Sandy. I'm just waiting for the right time to tell her the truth. The truth about what? Um... Carl, is there something you need to tell me? <laughs> no, Sandy, my life's an open book. <laughs> Hell, Sugar, do you need to read me something out of your book? <laughs> I'd start with chapter 11. <laughs> Carl, honey, are you... are you bankrupt? Oh, listen, Sandy, I, I just didn't want to tell you because I, I didn't want you to think less of me. Carl... You have nothing to worry about. 
<laughs> I knew you as a lady. I thought you were. <laughs> Here you go, Sandy. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't she something? Yeah. She sure is. I was half expecting her to walk out the door and slam it right behind you. Well, she's in a hurry to get to that picnic. Danny, are you okay? Introduce her to the family. What the hell was I thinking? Was a party? Not so great. Well, what happened? Darcy spent the entire night dancing with an eighth grader. How am I supposed to compete with that? <sighs> Damn those eighth graders. No one can resist them. <laughs> she didn't even know I was there. What did I do wrong, Dad? Buddy, he didn't do anything wrong. If anyone messed up, it was her. If she messed up, how come I feel so bad? Yeah, unfortunately, that's how love works. Well, if this is how it feels, I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> you don't want to give up on love, Jack. If you don't go through all the heartbreak, you'll, you'll never get to the best part. What's that? Falling in love with the person you're meant to be with. I can remember when I first started going out with your mama. I was so in love with her. <laughs> Made all the other heartbreaks worth it. Well, if I ever find a girl like that again, I'm, I'm just gonna tell her how I feel instead of, you know, playing it cool. Yeah. That's probably a really good idea. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Does this love stuff ever get any easier? No, but statistically, men do die before women, so at least we have that. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, Mom. Hey, Jack. How's the party? I don't really want to talk about it. I think I'm just going to go to bed. All right, then. Good night. Good night. Oh, Darcy ignored him. She was too busy dancing with an eighth grader. Poor Jack. Yeah. Oh, man. Just about killed me seeing him sitting there with his heart all broken like that. Nothing I could do about it. Yeah. I wish we could just protect him forever. No. I just want him to grow up happy and confident so he can meet a nice girl like you. Someone who will yell at him when he brings her flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That's all right. I deserved it. I got something for you. Hmm. Ronnie, look, we just made up. Do you really want to risk another song? No, I think you'll like this one. <laughs> We were young when we first met I won't ever forget the way you made me feel that night back then Little did I know my life had changed forever Inside of you my angel had appeared And all at once a baby came along Everything was moving fast, but nothing seemed wrong. Thank God for that. The things we didn't know, thank God for that. If we did, we might turn back. Thank God for that. He 
must have known that we weren't through God gave me all I'll ever need When he gave me you If that's for your act, it's not very funny It's not for my act I wrote it for you I've been working on it for a while and It's not done yet, but I thought you might want to hear it I mean, you wrote that just because? Yeah. I love you, T. I love you, R. Jessica, you're still here. I'll always be here, Thorpe. I love you. <laughs> okay, I don't get it. He gets disfigured in a boating accident and she still loves him. <laughs> Propeller must have missed his wallet. <laughs> oh, guys, I know it hurts, but you'll get through this sometime. I feel like I'll never be happy again. Oh, Jack, you're a handsome kid. There's going to be many others. Carl, you might want to just get yourself a puppy. <laughs> Heavenly.